Positioning Ghost Hunter, everybody, that is the thing, and welcome back to another episode of the Hunger Games Simulator. Last time, we had done horror brew characters, and this time, as suggested by Brett Turner on YouTube, we are doing Strange Hill High. It's apparently a British show that I had known nothing of, so I cannot give an introduction to this cast. But what I will say is, who am I rooting for? Mikiko, because a fun design and fun way to say. Plus, I love the joke whenever we have two ca two characters who are identical twins just putting in the same image. And Ian Gatlern, for no other reason than his name is my own. So Mikiko and Ian Gatlern. Mikiko is more fun to say. Anyways, as the tribute stand on the podium, the horn sounds. Grackle, Donald, and Becky work together to get as many supplies as possible. Ian runs away from the cornucopia. Ghost runs away from the cornucopia. Bartleby sets an explosive while killing Totocrombie and Sir Bog Bogavir. Miko Miki runs away. Kate runs away. Deputy Head runs away. Bishop grabs a jar of fishing bait while Mikiko gets fishing gear. Matthews, Stephanie, Templeton, Croydonia all run away. Peter finds a canteen full of water. Mitchell run Mitchell, Mr. Abercrombie, Samia, Librarian all run away. The G-Man grabs a jar of fishing bait while Jinxie gets fishing gear. Mikiko fishes. Samia sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Jinxie questions her sanity. G-Men, Peter, Matthews, and Mr. Abercrombie raid Becky's camp while she's hunting. Croydonia receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Templeton tries to sleep through, sleep through the entire day. Stephanie makes a wooden spear. Bishop, Grackle, Donald, and Deputy Head hunt for other tributes. Ian receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Kate receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Miki defeats Librarian in a fight but spares his life. Bartleby sprains ankle running away from the ghosts, and Mi Mitchell is pricked by thorns of picking bears. Two kin shots can be heard in the distance, Toto Crombie from District 12 and Sir Bogavire from District 8. With that being said and done, 22 survivors are left standing, and no district out of play. Let's keep going. Bartleby can receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Donald convinces ghosts to snuggle with him. Grackle quietly hums, Peter thinks about home. Stephanie receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. G-Man cries himself to sleep. Matthews receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Templeton, librarian, deputy head of Becky, sleep in shifts. Samia starts a fire. Kate tends to Croydonia's wounds. Mitchell tends to Bishop's wounds. Ian, Mikiko, Mr. Abercrombie, Miki, and Jinxie sleep in shifts. Samia, Grackle, Miki, Templeton, and Stephanie hunt for the tributes. Matthews and Ghost hunt for the tributes. Bartleby receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Ian and Donald hunt for other tributes. Mikiko, Croydonia, Jinxie, Peter, and Bishop track down and kill Becky. Mr. Abercrombie thinks about home. Kate tries to sleep the entire day. G-Man is pricked by thorns of picking berries. Librarian hunts for other tributes. Deputy Head collects fruit from a tree and Mitchell fishes. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance and it's Becky from District 2. Meaning no district is out of play yet, but we are down to 21 survivors. Mr. Abercrombie and Mitchell hold hands. Peter and Bishop talk about the distributes still alive. Bartleby lets Miki into a, shel into a shelter. Librarian thinks about home. Stephanie and Jinxie hold hands. Ghost sees a fire but stays hidden. Deputy Head tries to sing himself to sleep. Kate starts a fire. g -Man and Mikiko sleep in shifts. Templeton climbs a tree to rest. Ian screams for help. Samia and Croydonia work together to drown Donald. Matthews quietly hums. Grackle loses sight of where she is. Deputy Head picks flowers. Grackle over overhears Stephanie and Miki talking in the distance. Bartleby goes hunting. Templeton searches for firewood. Mitchell attacks Ian, but he manages to escape. Librarian springs her ankle running away from Samia. Jinxie, Crodonia, Matthews, and Kate read Mikiko's camp while she's hunting. Bishop begs for Peter to kill him. He refuses keeping Bishop alive. g men receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Ghosts die trying to escape the arena. Damn, they moved on. And Mr. Abercrombie camouflages himself in the bushes. Two counter shots can be heard in the distance. Donald from District 10 and Ghost from District 10. Meaning, District 10 is the first district out of play. And with that, we are down to 19 survivors left standing. Let's continue. Mitchell fans Librarian, Bartleby, and Mr. Abercrombie away from his fire. Stephanie, Ian, Grackle, and Jinxie sleep in shifts. Samia decapitates Mikiko with a sword. Damn it! Why wasn't it Miki? Ah, whatever. Matthews and Cordonia run into each other and decide truce in the night. Templeton, Miki, and Kate discuss the games what might happen in the morning. Peter thinks about winning. G-Man thinks about home. The bishop and deputy head talk to talk about the tribute still alive. Deputy head picks flowers. Credonia chases bishop. Jinxie picks flowers. G-Man sets Grackle on fire with a Molotov. Stephanie defeats Kate in a fight but spares her life. Librarian camouflages herself in the bushes. Samia over diverts Bartleby's attention and runs away. 
Mitchell tries to leave for the entire day. Mr. Abercrombie injures himself. Miki, Peter, Matthews, and Templeton track down and kill Ian. Damn it. Well, I'm not winning this episode. Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Mikiko from District 4, Grapple from District 11, and Ian from District 7. So, with that, still, District 10 is the only district out of play. And I lost my math, so if you'll excuse me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 survivors are left standing. Let's keep Let's keep going. Librarian attempts to climb a tree but falls on Mitchell, killing them both. All right, 14. Bishop and Kate huddle for warmth. Deputy Head Templeton and Stephanie cheerfully sing songs together. Jinx sees who to poison his blow dart into Mickey's neck, slowly killing her. 13. Croydonia goes to sleep. Butterbeer receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Mr. Abercrombie receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Samia quietly hums. A G-Man defeats Peter in a fight but spares his life. Matthews questions his sanity. Samia collects fruit from a tree. Butterby tends to Deputy Head's wounds. Jinx sees Stephanie, Bishop, and Kate hunt for other tributes. Peter hunts for other tributes. G-Men tries to spearfish the trident. Mr. Abercrombie begs for a Croydonia to kill him. He refuses to keep Mr. Abercrombie alive. Matthews discovers a river. Templeton dies from an infection. Oh, wow. All right, arena event. They said, hurry up. A fire spreads throughout the arena. Bartleby survives. Matthews falls to the ground, but kicks Kate hard enough to push her into the fire. Croydonia, Mr. Abercrombie, G-Men, and Bishop all survive. Deputy Head and Jinxie fail to find a safe spot and suffocate. The fire catches up to Samia, killing her, and both Peter and Stephanie survive. With that, eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Librarian from District 11, Mitchell from District 1, Mickey from District 4, Templeton from District 5, Kate from District 6, Deputy Head from District 9, Jinxie from District 7, and Samia from District 8. With that, I think we're down to the top eight players. Less standing. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, top eight survivors left standing with districts four, seven, eight, ten, and eleven completely out of play. Top eight survivors. Here we go. G Men falls into a pit and dies. <laughs> top seven. Matthews is unable to start a fire, sleeps without warmth. Stephanie thinks about winning. Bishop tries to sing himself to sleep. Bartleby, Peter, and Mr. Abercrombie sleep in shifts. Croydonia receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. I thought Matthews died in the event. Apparently not. All right. The cornucopia is a plunge of food supplies limits and memoirs from tributes families. Cordonia, Mr. Abercrombie, Stephanie, and Matthews all decide not to go to the feast. Bartleby shoots an arrow into Peter's head, and Bishop decides not to go to the feast. One, two, three, four, five, six survivors left standing. Bishop camouflages himself in the bushes. Stephanie tries to sleep through the entire day. Matthews tends to Bartleby's wounds. Mr. Abercrombie receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Cordonia explores the arena. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance, the G-Men from District 9 and Peter from District 6. With that being being said, Districts 4, 7, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 are completely out of play, and we are down to our top six survivors, and somehow District 3 is still completely healthy. Bartleby, Stephanie, and Bishop discuss again what might happen in the morning. Mr. Abercrombie goes to sleep. Croydonia destroys Matthew's supplies that he is asleep. Bartleby searches for firewood. Matthews uses a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Stephanie runs away from Bishop. Croydonia dies from hunger, and Mr. Abercrombie makes a wooden spear. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Croydonia from District 2, meaning Districts 2, 4, 7, District 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 are completely out of play, and we are down to our top five survivors. Let's keep it going. Stephanie and Mr. Abercrombie run into each other and decide truce for the night. Matthews convinces Bartleby to snuggle with them. Bishop climbs a tree to rest. Day 8. Stephanie sees clean water from an unknown sponsor. Bishop and Mr. Abercrombie hunt for their tributes. Bartleby questions his sanity. Matthews explores the arena. No cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Matthews, Mr. Abercrombie, and Stephanie sleep in shifts as both B Bartleby and Bishop receives a, receive a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Day 9. Bishop throws a knife into Matthews' head. Bartleby searches for a water source. Mr. Abercrombie thinks about home. Stephanie picks flowers. You know, I was kind of wondering if there's like a whole lore reason and that Matthews is actually one of the most powerful characters considering some of the images I've seen for him. But I'll never know. If that's the case, Brett, you suggested the episode. You can tell me down in the comments below, right? Thank you. Anyways, one cannon shot can be heard in the distance and it's Matthews from District 3. 
Districts 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 are completely out of play. And we are down to our top four survivors. Let's keep it going. Stephanie forces Bishop to kill Mr. Abercrombie or Bartleby. He refuses to kill, so Stephanie kills him instead, so Bishop is dead. Mr. Abercrombie thinks about home. Bartleby decapitates Stephanie with a sword. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Bishop from District 5 and Stephanie from District 12. With that being said and done, Districts 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are completely out of play. It's down to Bartleby versus Mr. Abercrombie. And also, from this design, is Bartleby a fan favorite character? I'll actually have to watch this show because it's, it intrigues me. But it would look like that Bartleby would be a fan favorite. He really seems like a fine gentleman, like even here, just... Stephanie forced Bishop. He didn't kill, so she killed him, and then he went out of his way to kill her because of revenge. Anyways, day night 10, Mr. Abercrombie kills Barnaby for his supplies, meaning the winner is Melvin Ab Abercrombie from District 1. District 1 is getting a lot of wins. Like, yeah, it's getting a lot of wins. Mr. Virtual won, and he was in District 1 in the last episode, and the Annoying Orange won. This is three wins from District 1. Stat trackers, I don't know if you have any, if I have any of you, but if I do, I have a question for you. Would you mind going back to all the previous episodes and figuring out what district has the highest amount of wins throughout the entire series? If you could, that'd be awesome. Or I might just do it at the championship episode. That seems like something I'd waste my time with after this episode but anyways let's review the placements in 24th Toto Crombie in 23rd Sir Bogavir in 22nd Becky Butters in 21st Donald in 20th Ghost in 19th with one kill Nikiko in 18th The Grackle in 17th Ian Gatlern in 16th Librarian in 15th Mitchell Tanner in 14th with one kill Miki in 13th with one kill Templeton in 12th Kate in 11th, Deputy Head. In 10th, Jinxie with two kills. In 9th, with two kills, Samia Speed. In 8th, with one kill, The G-Men. In 7th, with two kills, Peter Dustpan. In 6th, with two kills, Croydonia Puddock. In 5th, with two kills, Matthews. In 4th, with two kills, Bishop. In 3rd, with one kill, Stephanie Bethany. That's kind of a fun rhyme. In 2nd, with four kills, the highest amount so far, Bottle... Bartleby Balding, and the winner is Melvin Abercrombie with one kill. Now we have it. This is way longer than usual. Almost took two weeks to finish instead of the usual one. District placements in 12th, 10, and 11th, 11, and 10th, 4, and 9th, 7, and 8th, 8, and 7th, 9, and 6th, 6. <laughs> nice. In 5th, 2, and 4th, 5, and 3rd, 12, and 2nd, 3, and in 1st, 1. Thank you very much for sticking around to the end of this video. Yeah, nah. A shout out to Brett Turner on YouTube for suggesting this episode. The next episode that we do is DreamWorks Villains. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And with this being said and done, I will end the video by saying what I usually do. The name is Blue Fang, everybody. Take care. The name is Blue Fang, everybody. I bid you all a good West Virginia sun. Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.